In this video, we're going to be talking about new way of creating a selection using camera information. Isn't that interesting? Now, how does a camera differentiate between the subject and the background? It blurs out the background, right? And keeps the subject in focus. Now, what if we tell Photoshop that select everything that's in focus and leave everything which's in the background or leave everything which is out of focus? Wouldn't that make a great selection? It might or it might not. But Photoshop can do that. So without any further ado, let's get started. Just like this bird, I have managed to cage myself in the screenshot of Photoshop. And by the way, you can download this image links in the description below. Okay. So as you can see in this image, the background is completely out of focus and the bird is in focus. So it might make Photoshop much easier to determine the areas in focus and areas out of focus and which areas to select. So to do it first, make a copy of the background layer. That's always the first thing to do to be double sure. Now go to select and focus area. There's a tool for it in Photoshop. Okay. Dedicated tool. Now this is going to make some calculation, algorithmic, computational, all that math. And let's see what a selection it comes up with. Now there are a couple of tools. It, by the time it's processing the selection, now it has processed the selection. It has done a pretty good job, but it has left some places here, here, here. Okay. Now, but it has done a pretty good selection. If you want to add some areas, there are two tools here, plus and minus. Okay. If you want to deduct some areas, you would click on the minus tool and deduct some areas, extra areas, which has selected in this case, which it has not. Okay. Now we would like to add some areas to the selection. So these areas to the selection, let's add it. Okay. And by the way, you can do one more thing here. You can change the views. Okay. Currently it's on white. You can change it to on black. You can change it to overlay. You can change it to on layers. Okay. Whatever is comfortable for you to figure out the selection. So for me, I think on white is good. And then I would select some extra areas. Maybe, you know what? Overlay is a good way because overlay, you see a little bit of the extra areas here, as you can see that a little bit of the background you can see. I don't know whether you can see it in this screen, but I can see it. Watch a little bit of it. There you go. So you can select some extra areas and it does its own calculation. Now this selected something extra, but we'll take care of it. So here we have to select some extra area. Now, one of the greatest features of focus area is that it allows you to directly jump to select and mask to refine the selection even more, which means that Photoshop even admits that focus area doesn't give you a perfect selection, but it does give you a good start. Okay. Now, before we jump into select and mask, there are a couple of things that I want to take want you to have a look at. There's a parameter called in focus range. Now you can play with the parameter to see which number works for you the best. Okay. The more the number, the more of a selection there will be, the less of the number, the less of a selection it will be. Okay. So if I increase it to five, there will be more of a selection. If I decrease it somewhere like 0 0.5, there's no selection, but this one. Okay. So I think four point something is good. There's also an option called auto, which brings it to the center. Now there are a couple of advanced option image noise level, which we really don't have to go into. Let's close it. All right. Now what I do personally after this is go to select and mask directly. I click on this and this takes me directly to select and mask. Now you can change the view to on white and you can decrease the opacity to see which are the areas not selected or extra selected. And then you can select this quick selection tool and add in the areas. Okay. Simple. It's very simple here in select and mask. Okay. Now you can, let's add in this area really quickly. Simple, isn't it? Now there's a little bit of extra selected and you know how to go about it, right? So there you go. And also one of the greatest features here is refine edge. Now you'll see it. You'll see it. Okay. You select something extra. All right. Now, once you're pretty much satisfied with the selection, then you can go to this refine edge tool and you can just paint over the edges, which are quite soft, furry, and kinds of blends in. Okay. Watch the magic it does to this. Okay. You can increase the opacity. 
you can just paint over this area to see what it makes of the selection. It's pretty good, not bad. And the selection is pretty much fine. Okay. Well, that's pretty much good. And you can take your time to make a more perfect selection, alright? Now once you're satisfied, you can get the selection the way you want. But before we do that, let's just refine these edges right here. There you go. Okay, let's drag down and I would go with layer mask and then click OK. We have a perfect selection. Now you can do anything with it. You can make a solid color adjustment layer maybe and something like maybe green or light green or something like that something like maybe this color and you can make it a children's book okay add a drop shadow maybe to this one right click on it go to blending options maybe a little bit of drop shadow there you go a light to the right because light is coming from the right Increase the distance maybe decrease the opacity there you go you have a beautiful composite and you can write anything you want add another text layer and you can write bird or whatever you want okay so let's make it a little bigger there you go and you get the idea what to do you can just uh, make it bold I know that's not part of this tutorial but I'm just having fun lurking around regular is good alright so that's how you utilize focus area to make a selection to start with a selection it does give you a good selection but it does not give you a perfect one but it's a good start so use it only for starting a selection now this can apply only and only if the background is completely blurred out hope this video helped you and if it did make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe click on that bell button so that you don't miss anything i'll see you guys in my next one till then stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating